back. Um, obviously, front end is off the car. This is going to be, I guess, the fourth iteration of this series, if that's what you want to call it. But today, I'm going to try and get anything that's uh, connected to the motor or trans that needs to come off to pull the motor off. So uh, my main my main thing is getting the wiring harness, everything off the motor, this side of the car, the fuel rail off, and uh, get the brackets reattached so I can actually have a place to connect the chains and uh, get the drive shaft and maybe the axles. Um, all of it's pretty pretty easy to do, it's just time consuming and then like the shifter stuff, get the shifter cables off, um, down pipe disconnected from the turbo, shit like that. Um, see what AC stuff I can actually pull off while the motor's still here maybe, which doesn't look like anything but this one hose, but we'll see, let's see what we get done. Oops, starting out here, got these two AC lines out, one of them I just tossed away, the other one I kind of just bent out of the way, um, for now, we'll have to delete that um, officially once we get access to where all those lines go, but uh, we're going to start up here getting all the connection off on the intake manifold, because this is a harness I added for the port injection, so um, this is like the easiest harness probably to take off, so starting to do that, but I can't get down to this bottom one. So I'm going to take the oil filter out to get to that one. I need to throw the oil filter out anyway. And, uh, and then I'll disconnect from the high pressure side, get the fuel well off. And we'll set that to the side for now. And I'll probably do the shifter. And then uh, I'm done with the shifter, get all the starter stuff off. And then uh, we'll get the, the rest of this harness. Working around, just got the fuel rail off here. Sorry, we're all zoomed in. Had to loosen up uh, a couple of these screws. This one, the one hiding under here, and a couple of these brackets just to be able to lift this up a little bit more. Get this little bit of clearance to pull the the rail out. Thing looks pretty uh, nasty around the seals here. Definitely have to replace these O-rings just because of how nasty everything looks. But you can see the carbon build up on the Injectors a little bit here, and then some brake cleaner shouldn't be able to fix, but interesting. Fuel rail pushed out of the way for the moment. I'm going to disconnect it here somewhere in a little bit, but going around disconnecting just about everything. So, everything on the top portion of the motor up here uh, comes across the middle of the motor down to this goes back into this harness and this harness goes down meets up with all this stuff so you got another harness that goes towards the back there and then another harness that goes down and it goes down to here um, all these connections and then there's one that goes back I haven't found that one yet but then it also splits off further back and goes up here for the alternator and stuff so it's all pretty simple they're all just you know disconnect things and disconnect them. I gotta open up all these little plastic things to get the wires out of here and then I can pull it through, bring it around, and lay it here on the side. So get some more of this uh I think everything seems pretty simple. I gotta cut this tape here, there's a zip tie here, there's handfuls of zip ties at places, but uh seems pretty pretty simple. I think it's gonna be very easy to tell where all the connections go. Once you start plugging things in, everything should just kind of route the way it's supposed to be. But I took a bunch of pictures and going over it now with the video. See, like this goes to the water pump. Um, you got like a knock sensor there or something. Uh, whatever. This AC stuff will be like deleted. But uh, yeah. I'm really curious as to. There's that one that goes down and around. I don't know where it goes to though. Oh, I see it. There's like a some type of sensor right there. Okay. All right. Well, we got all the wiring off the motor. Uh, there's still some like internal wiring stuff like down there. There's some like connectors and stuff that just talk to itself. I guess you see a couple here. There is one on the block there that I'll have to take off um, later in time. But got everything moved to the side here. 
I'm gonna get like a box or something or something to sit here and set all this stuff in so it's not just like dangling I don't step on any connectors and break any ends or anything but uh, next up I guess oh see there's another connector right there for the reverse uh, can't get it right, I think I'm gonna do shifter stuff next and uh, then the down pipe and then I guess axles and uh, drive shaft. And I think from there, oh, I gotta put the brackets back on the motor, like I said, for the hoist. But um, and I think after that, it should be ready to be pulled out. So I went to Harbor Freight yesterday, and uh, they're all out of hoist. Like they said, they're not getting another restock basically till October. So shout out luck there. Went to go rent one at the hardware store downtown today. Today Saturday and they were closed like that section of the department or that department was closed by the time I got there so I was like F me uh, and they're closed tomorrow Sunday so I really just need to find somebody in town and let me borrow theirs for a couple days I could have this motor out tomorrow easily I think so well all I got right now I guess we'll start taking these axles off I should have took my wheels off or at least loosened them up while they were on the ground so this is gonna be not fun. <laughs> All right, pretty simple stuff here. Just nuts and bolts. Got the shifter off. Got the bracket. See the uh, manual Mark Seven. You won't have a metal one. This will be plastic with rubber bushings that are inside. And okay. So the Mark 4, 5, and 6 come with metal ones from the factory and it fits our trans. So you can grab an OE one, OEM one from a junkyard for like 10 bucks, uh, 034, uh, ECS tuning, a bunch of people make bushing kits for them. See, I got the 034 ones, one goes on the bottom, one goes on the top, and it replaces the rubber bushings that go in those uh, shifter things. So that's all dealt with. You guys are wondering how I'm staying organized. I got bags that I'm labeling and I'm zip tying things to things and then anywhere where I can put a nut back where it belongs like on this and uh, where there's like other stuff over here like this anywhere I can put things back for now at least that's how we'll do it but um, like I said before they make Audi has an OEM piece for this that bolts right in and uh, it's just a, like an idler pulley. So I think it's like 200 bucks, but be a nice little uh, upgrade, I think. Hell yeah. All right, well, got pretty much all the things I want done up here for now. Uh, did I talk about it already? I'm definitely gonna delete this. And it looks like the hose that goes, where are we at? From here to right here, I'll be able to cut just right and rotate it to go back into this hose, so. Um, tomorrow I'll probably do some measure. I'll probably just rip all this out, do some measuring, and then give it a a decent cut with some extra room just in case. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Get rid of that, and then uh, for the winter at least I'll be fine. Definitely with the stock radiator, and then come spring I'll do uh, or whenever I get the intercooler. Either way, they're like. Cooler temps are coming, so I really don't need to upgrade radiator and intercooler right now. So in the spring, probably do both of those since I am deleting that. Might as well. Not to see if there's like a fan kit out there or something. That, that whole assembly comes off really easily. Like I, I don't know why I was, especially without the AC going to be there anymore and the AC condenser off. So those lines on the side and everything, it's going to make it real, real simple to pull off. And I'd like to make like some quick disconnect, like get rid of this whole junk Actually, well, that kind of keeps the bumper, like, pulls it in real nice, but I don't know. I'd like to figure out a way to get the bumper off quicker to access things, but anyway, time to do the axles. All right, guys, got all the axle bolts out. They're all laying here on the tray, all 10 of them. I'm going to replace all of those, and now we're up here getting the drive shaft, um, Hardware off, there's only three. Pretty simple stuff. Um, everything's coming out pretty easy. I'm, I'm actually uh, pretty happy with the way everything's going. Smoothly, going at my own pace, just hanging out, listening to music, drinking beer, 
getting shit done. So after these three bolts here, it's gonna be nothing but whatever coolant hoses run to the firewall. And uh, that's pretty much it. I just need to get a hoist and pull this bitch out. All right, drive shaft, axle bolts, everything's out. Um, I seen the connectors brackets. I want to take off the fuel rail here and the catch can. Um, sorry, it's super dark. A couple other random things, coolant ball, but uh, yeah, and then do that, remove that radiator, the aux radiator. So we'll do that tomorrow. I am going over to my friend's house for dinner. After I shower, I am filthy. But uh, yeah, see you guys in the morning. I don't really remember where I left off yesterday, but my boy Damien just lent me his uh, hoist. I went to Harbor Freight, got a uh, leveler. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but uh, I watch a lot of Jimmy Oaks. If you don't watch Jimmy Oaks, you should definitely watch Jimmy Oaks. But there for the longest, he was uh, using a, a hoist with a ratchet trap to pull motors. And the one time the ratchet trap broke and the motor hit the ground, <laughs> it was not a good time. And he actually had a subscriber send him uh, one of these levelers. So, um, yeah, I was like, you know what? I actually remember that I'm gonna go pick one up and I got some hooks for it and shit just in case it doesn't come with any but uh I'm about to get this coolant ball out of the way maybe the catch can take the downpipe off and um it's pretty much all I got I need to reach back there and feel if there's any hoses going in the firewall which I know there is I just gotta find those but uh, other than that axles off drive shaft off it's pretty much ready to pull I'm excited all right, so we got the coolant ball out over there sitting. Just pulled the injectors out. About to clean those up, clean up these injector, the injector clips. They're all nasty and some brake cleaner there. Um, I think next up I'm going to do the downpipe and then um, delete this and cut that hose like I was talking about earlier. And I got a buddy coming over soon. Oh, I got my roommate and another friend coming over we'll get this uh get this down get this all set up and push under the car i still need to put those uh those hooks back on too it goes here but small things i think the last thing i talked about was coolant lines so i got one here going off this that goes to the firewall and then down in here you can kind of see that big one right there i just disconnected that goes to the turbo and then there was another one i undid right here this hose went to this, which I believe is the pump, like the after pump. Like when you turn a car off and you hear it making noises, this pump's running coolant like through the head and the turbo. So that's the only other connections. I took the downpipe off, turbo here, um, the baiting. So it looks like this is pretty close to the catch cam. I don't want to take out that engine bolt. Um, I've done taking it out like way too many times. So. We'll see if we can squeeze it through there, but everything else is off. The only thing that should be holding us in right now is the engine and trans mounts. You kind of got to move the axles out of the way. See, it's like they're not out, out, but the drive shaft is kind of just sitting still right up against it, but that shouldn't be an issue at all. I had to take off the heat shield and stuff around it last night because I couldn't get the drive shaft to spin so I took off these shields which probably needed to come off anyway you can see I got covers on everything labels so I'm ready to get this out of the box get this set up on the on the hoist here and yep We got uh, all the coolant hoses, everything up there undone. Got the chains on, finally. Took me a minute. There's like a, some like plastic piece that's over this hole, and I didn't realize it. I popped that baby out, and it's the perfect spot. I just kind of wrapped the chains around it, like whatever. But really, only thing holding in is the, is the trans mount and the, the engine mount. Got the downpipe undone, all that stuff back there. So I guess you guys will see on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hmm.